Up next, the Hornets taking on the Pelicans. For the Hornets, it's been a bumpy road as of late, dropping four of their last five. Pelicans, Hornets, coming up next. Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. Hi, everyone. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll hear from Ali LaForce in just a moment. Hey, Ali. Thanks, Brian. CJ McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Allie. Thanks for that. Smitty, sure to be lots of snappy ball movement in this one. These teams have incredibly strong passing games. Yes, they do, B.A. Some great basketball minds on both teams who can just pick you apart with their playmaking. I'm sure they won't make it easy on each other. So the Hornets starting five. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Terry Rozier is out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Williams in at the five. And for New Orleans, we've got Herb Jones, Brandon Ingram out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Richardson in at the two. It'll be the Hornets off the tip. Here's Rozier. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. And here's Oubre from the arc. Rebounded by Ingram. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Pass to McCollum. Jones against Hayward. McCollum outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. Sinks it from distance. Look at the big man Valanchuna showing off the playmaking skills. Hayward outside. Rozier outside. Washington outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Ingram. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power. He mixes them together for a big finish. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Pass to Oubre. Rozier outside. And here is Hayward. Into the lane. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Jones. Here they come with numbers in transition. Here's McCollum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And B.A., when you think of C.J. McCollum, not only a superb score, but an intelligent and clever passer, too. First one falls for him. And Smitty McCollum has continued to add to his game over the years. And what I like about it, we've seen the playmaking improve because he's one of the best combo guards we have in this game. An unpredictable player who just torches the defense. And McCollum drops them both. Led the league in percentage from the line a few years ago. C.J. McCollum dialed in. Rozier, the pass to Oubre. Back to Rozier. Pass to Hayward. Outside Oubre to win the run. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. And here's the fast break. The shot by Ingram, no good. Charlotte has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Hayward, the pass to Oubre. Jones against Hayward. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. 
All right, let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard and see which teams are leading the pack in steals right now. Second, New Orleans. This team will punish you for sloppy ball control, no question. They've got a lot of fast-handed guys just waiting to take advantage. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Shots good by McCollum. C.J. McCollum is so crafty at finding ways to capitalize inside. What a play. Pass to Hayward. Here's Oubre. Rozier outside. Washington outside. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. Offensive rebound. Valanchunas, good. Timeout, timeout. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Timeout call. The Hornets. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And let's check out a breakdown, looking at some stats for Jonas Valanciunas. The Hornets have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Hayward outside. Pass to Washington. Shot to end the cold streak. Some solid defense from Ingram. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Scooped up. Tries again. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Only a few guys in the league are going to give you more double-doubles than Jonas Valanciunas. And as his career goes on, he only gets more of them. And Valanchunas no good on that one. Well, Smitty, and in terms of numbers, Valanchunas has been good for a double-double in about two out of every three games the past few years. You know, B.A., it speaks to his commitment to being an all-around force, not just a low-post scoring machine. Richards has checked in for Charlotte. Here's New Orleans. They've gone on a 13-0 run. Ingram against Washington. Pulls up. High post. Offensive rebound. Valanchunas nails the baby hook. Valanchunas has got six. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Outside Oubre. Pass to Richards. Shot clock at five. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Oh, got that one up quick. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Charlotte has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Timeout, timeout. Timeout call. The Hornets. Hey, it's an exciting time of year with the playoffs on the horizon. 
Grant, should teams start changing up their rotations with the postseason in mind? You know, B.A., I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, seeding is so important in the postseason, but I don't think it's time to start experimenting. It's still about winning games and getting into the best position possible. McCullum against Rozier. Hayward outside. Pass to Rozier to stop the run. Jones grabs the board. The Pelicans have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Here's McCullum. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. And that one falls for Oubre. Smitty, the challenges of being a small market team are very real for the Pelicans. You know, it's tough to attract big name talent or get stars willing to invest in your franchise. B.A., but the Pelicans are doing what they can to overcome it. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Pelicans were pretty impressive last season managing to successfully battle their way into the playoffs through a tough play-in tournament. Now here's McCollum. Seven points in the game. Pass to Richardson. Six on the shot clock. Valanchunas finds McCollum. Shoots over Rozier. And there's McCollum on the assist from Valanchunas. McCollum's got nine. You know, in that play-in, the Pelicans faced some serious competition, Smitty. B.A., they defeated the Spurs and the Clippers, which was no easy task. But the Pelicans were ready for the challenge and ended up securing a playoff berth. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Huge run right now for them, going 19-2. Pass to Valanchunas. And here's McCollum. He's got nine. Takes a 13-footer, and it's New Orleans with another. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Now here's Oubre. Fires the three. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Can't hit that one. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. Outside Richardson. He can't get it to go. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. His first shot coming late. 
The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to McCullum. Now Richardson. Back to McCullum. Plenty of space. It's hauled in by Hayward. Missed opportunity. Wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Rozier outside. Trying to get back on track. McCollum with some nice D. Well, New Orleans shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Outside Richardson. Pass to Jones. Ingram against Hayward. Fades. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And they got into a consistent offensive flow, largely because the defense they were facing was poor. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Marshall, he's checked in for Jones. Smith, he's checked in for Charlotte. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. New Orleans timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Both teams will make substitutions. Ten games left this year. Let's see what the playoff race looks like in the East. You look at Charlotte, their season's basically over, barring some sort of miracle. Right now, for Charlotte, they need to take a long look at this team. They really need to think about what they can change. Not sure whether that goes for the coaches or the players or possibly both. For me, the decision makers have a lot of tough choices to make. They also need to look in the mirror because they're the ones who assembled this team. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Smith. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Booknight to stop the drought. Goes back up, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And we have a chance to take a look at the teams that are wreaking havoc with their defense this past month. The Hornets fourth. Over the last month, this team has shown strides defensively. The effort level has been much improved. down the first one and we know the big markets draw free agents as a player how different can that experience be from the big city to the smaller market well we know it's a big difference um, and obviously there's been this old adage that big city wins more but we've had some teams from smaller markets step up and win a championship like the Milwaukee Bucks that one falls so he hits both of them 
Well, the Pelicans shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Here's Alvarado. Here's Daniels. Marshall with the bucket. And the Pelicans lead by 21. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pass to McGowans. The three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Here's Alvarado. Nance in the post. Richards is there. No good that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. No question who's in control of the board so far. Here's Booknight. Washington outside. Kept alive. Richards. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. It's all about the fire they're playing with early on. Crashing the boards, and the result, second chance points. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Murphy. We've got 155 left in the opening quarter. Here's Alvarado. Covered by Smith. Clock is at three. Let's it fly. We got a piece of it. And they'll keep possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Washington outside. Back to Smith. Four on the clock. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Book Knight can't get it to go. The Pelicans shooting well so far at 48%. Here's Alvarado, covered by Smith. Here's Marshall. Pure from three-point range. He's got five. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's McGowan's. Pelicans cleared away. There's the triple. Washington grabs the miss. 32 seconds left in the first. From 12 feet, and that one's good. That makes him two for three. Terrific use of his body to open up space on the inside. Here's Alvarado, covered by Smith. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And he makes a first. It's 
So he gets them both. On offense, here are the Hornets. 19-point game. Here's McGowan's. He's got five. No good. A bit long that time. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. The first quarter concludes. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Pelicans ahead. Up 19. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Pelicans here, guys. Was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yes, you know this, GA. Back in our day, in any day really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. The Pelicans shooting the rock well at 46%. They've got CJ McCollum. Jonas Valanciunas out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Josh Richardson, and it's Jones in at the three slot. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. Here's Maladon. McCullum defends. Maladon, no good. Here's New Orleans now. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. And that one's good. Ingram. This is just a case of Brandon Ingram getting stronger and more able to play through contact. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade, Greg. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. Williams misses. Here's New Orleans now. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Knocked loose. Oubre with a steal. Here's Maladon. And he makes it on the layup. And so it's New Orleans with it. McCollum with it. Oubre picks him up. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Pass to Maladon. On the wing, Rozier, guarded by Richardson. Rozier gets the bucket. This guy is a fighter. Rozier, just a workhorse who enjoys scoring on the aggressive coverage. Outside, Richardson. Now here's Valanciunas. Williams defending. To the inside, Richardson uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Pelicans lead by 19. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Now here's Oubre. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadalla in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. And that one falls for Oubre. Oubre nails them both. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Outside Jones. Back to McCollum. Pass to Ingram. Oh, Hayward with some nice D. 
His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Here's Maladon. Here's Williams. That one goes. Now he's one for two. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. McCullum, the pass to Jones. And here's Richardson. McCullum outside. Pass to Ingram. Clock at six. 4 3. That one is off. And the Hornets going the other way now. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. He's a factor defensively. He's 6'6 with a 6'10 wingspan. Josh gets off the floor quickly. Valanchunas with it. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. Outside Oubre. Pass to Maladon. Shot is up. And that one hits the back iron. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Richardson's gotten his third basket of the night. For a guard, Josh Richardson has all type of length. He is consistently getting to the lane, and he can score. Here's Maladon. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. And Oubre gets it to go. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Stolen by Rozier. Now the Hornets moving it up. Count that one. And what I love about Rozier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. Pass to Jones. Now here's Valanchunas. Outside Richardson. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Book night. He's checked in for Maladon. Timeout called. The Pelicans. Here's McCullum. 11 points in the game. Gets it to go from the corner. McCullum's got 13. When McCullum is putting it all together on offense, it is fun to watch. Born score. Back to Rozier. Pulls it in from the elbow. And another basket for Charlotte. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. McCullum, the pass to Jones. Richardson up top. Here's Ingram. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. I like the attack mindset. Ingram not content to stand out on the perimeter. Outside Oubre. Pass to Booknight. 
Rozier outside. Four on the clock. Pelicans cleared away. Alan Tunis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Jones against Oubre. Jones with some nice D. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Down low. And Ingram gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Give him eight. Coming off screens, B.I. has a good feel for what to do next. Back to Rozier. That shot missing. Nice D from Valanciunas. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Pass to Jones. McCollum with it. Hounded by Rozier. McCollum, the pass to Jones. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. You know, back in college in 2020, Herb Jones broke his left wrist. Less than two weeks after surgery, Jones was back on the floor. The first one falls. And Herbert Jones, what a tough customer, playing with a huge cast on that wrist. You know, B.A., how hard that is. He played with just one hand at the end of that 2020 season in school. Herb Jones is a fighter. Despite being a second-round pick, he made an immediate impact in this league. Jones hits them both. Now Smith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the middle. Oh, it's stolen away. Here's Marshall, covered by Smith. Pass to Nance. Shot clock at six. Jones. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Smith outside. Here's McGowan's. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort.
Here's McGowan's. He's got five. Misses and the dry spell continues. And they are really struggling to stop this run. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Nance can't get it to go. Yikes, how did he miss that? I mean, he makes nine out of ten of those. Pass to McGowan's. Boom, he jams it straight down. As a defender, you have to get more physical with him in the post. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. Here's Alvarado. Here's Marshall. Here's Daniels. Here's Murphy. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Now shooting the three ball at almost 60%. They've been blazing this second quarter. Smith outside. They shoot again. And they converted last on attempt number three. Smith's got his first basket of the night. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Pass to Murphy. Here's Daniels. From the high post. And another one falls for New Orleans. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Book Knight. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Larry Nance picks one up. And he drops the first. He's perfect from the line this time. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Pass to Daniels. One thirty-three left to play in the second quarter. They get it back. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. The first free throw is good. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. And so he hits both. We've got 128 left in the second quarter. Pass to Book Knight. Back to Smith. Here's McGowan's. He's got seven. Three pointer, Book Knight. Nance pulls down the board. Nance has got five rebounds in the game. Here's Murphy. Here's Daniels. Inside. Here's Nance. 
The Hornets pull it in. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Here's McGowan's. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Here's Alvarado. Off the mark there with a three. Charlotte has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. To the paint. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Here's McGowan's. With one on the clock. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans. Already up 26 points as this quarter ends. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. C.J. McCollum was on fire in the first half. He had 13 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing. There was no shortage of dimes on this team, that's for sure. Numerous guys displayed good court vision, moved the ball, led to great shots. They're in full control of this game right now. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Charlotte. And they were gutting a little too much from downtown. Uh, they can't afford to become dependent on that shot. They've got to compete the consistent way. I'd like to see them mix it up more in the second half. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, you know, C.J. McCollum has been really making an impact here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second on the court for the Hornets. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Kelly Oubre out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Williams in at the five down low. Chalk up two there. McCollum's got 15 points. Great tenacity from C.J. McCollum. Not letting the defense bother him at all. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland Grant. And McCollum has showed that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. They get it back. Oubre and Ingram with the block. With that 7-3 wingspan, Brandon Ingram is having no trouble getting to that shot. And Charlotte's shooting only 23% so far. Oubre finds Rozier. Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. And stolen by Williams. Looking to get it going. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Look how Rogier just slices inside. He doesn't hold himself back on the drive at all. Outside Richardson. Pass to Valentunas. On the wing, Jones. Guarded by Hayward. Six to shoot. Jones misses. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Oubre passes to Hayward. And here's Washington. Here's Rozier. And that basket makes him 5 for 10. Steady production so far. The craftiness of Rozier. Unpredictable in these screener rolls, and he uses this to his advantage. Pass to Jones. Back to Richardson. 
shoots over Ubre. Richardson, that's good. Richardson's got eight points. The ball handling skills of Josh showing off his ability to create for himself. Pass to Rozier. Hayward outside. Now here's Ubre. Three pointer Rozier. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Ingram up top. Richardson up top. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. I love that catch and shoot. Defensively, you've got to close hard. Josh is dangerous in that area. McCullum against Rozier. Washington left side. Back to Rozier. From behind the arc. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. For New Orleans, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Rozier against McCullum. Shoots over Rozier. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got a rebound number five here tonight. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Now here's Oubre. He's got seven. Six on the shot clock. Washington passes to Oubre. Up and over Richardson. And there's Oubre. That one's good on the assist by Washington. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Here's Jones. Back to Richardson. Fires from deep. Washington grabs the miss. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Hayward against Jones. Second chance effort. Jones with the block. There's the drive. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Give Josh credit. Taking the challenge offensively. Discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Timeout, timeout. Timeout call. The Hornets. One of the stories here, C.J. McCollum. He's getting it done today. This guy is killing you, and so far I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively. The Hornets making a switch here. Maladone's checked in. Hayward against Ingram. Pass to Maladon. Rozier outside. Here's Hayward. Shot clock at six. Williams with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. 
solid communication, and unselfish play all around. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. The free throw drops for Williams. And Williams drops them both. Now here's McCollum. 15 points in the game. Outside Richardson. Pass to Jones. McCollum outside. And here's Ingram. McCollum outside. Buries it from three. McCollum's got 18. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Maladon. Here's Hayward. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Love to see Gordon Hayward shake things up and get busy down inside. The defense really doesn't know what to do when he's down there other than hack him. First free throw is good. Even as a forward, Gordon Hayward can run the offense, Grant. Hey, B.A., he is a tremendous passer. Hayward's averaged over five assists a game during a season. Having Gordon in the front court really helps with ball movement. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. And what I appreciate about Gordon is he's a fighter, working his way back from that devastating leg injury in 2017. Still a solid contributor. Now here's McCollum. He's got 18. Pass to Valentunas. Back to McCollum. The three ball. And Rozier pulls it down. Charlotte's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Maladon, guarded by Richardson. And it's Gordon Hayward with the foul. That's his first foul. The Pelicans have gotten five of ten shots to go. McCollum with it. Taking command on offense when they need it. Putting up 21 a game. Richardson against Williams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. This is what you want. Put the defender in a position where he has to foul you to stop you. Richardson can be a tricky cover. And he makes a first. I mean, a ferocious athlete. Josh Richardson has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Ingram. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Richards is checked in for Hayward. Hits both from the stripe. And for the Hornets, they're shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Jones against Oubre. Back to Maladon. Three-pointer Rozier. 
Rebounded by New Orleans. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Jones. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Williams has got six rebounds in the game. Three-pointer Rozier. Rebounded by Marshall. New Orleans has gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside Jones. Pass to Marshall. Over to the left wing. Just five to shoot. Here's Nance. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. Charlotte has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. And so it's New Orleans with it. The Hornets making their last shot. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Jones. And here's Richardson. He's covered by Oubre. From 13, Richardson, no good. The Hornets shooting a rough 25% from the field in this game. Oubre passes to Rozier. Here's Maladon. Out to Oubre. Let's go with a three. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got his fifth rebound in this one. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Pass to Marshall. Pulls up. Can't get it to drop. And Charlotte going the other way now. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. That'll be the second of two games on the road. Rozier can't get it to go. I know he's on a cold streak but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's Maladon. Outside for Rozier. No good from outside. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Here's Marshall. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Pass to Maladon. And here's Rozier. He's got ten. Here's Richards. Buries it down low. Richards has got four points this quarter. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Back to Richardson. One fifty-seven left in the third. His offensive output just isn't fair tonight, but his teammates have found a way to pick up a slack. Pass to Ubre. Outside Williams. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Williams has got six. Yeah, when you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. And you know, the adjustments should have already been made. They know he's a good shooter from that spot. Jones has gotten only two of his eight attempts from the floor. Here's Maladon. Soft touch off the glass. Maladon's got his second basket of the game. That's three buckets in a row off assist. New Orleans timeout, calls timeout. timeout. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball.
And the Hornets making a change here. One ten left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Alvarado. And the layup is good. He has six. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Smith. Pass to Williams. Here's McGowan's. Back to Williams. Shot clock at three. Smith outside. Let's it go from deep. And they'll get another chance. Williams' shot is good. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Richardson. From eight feet away, drops it in. Richardson's got eight points in the quarter. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Out to the wing. Here's McGowan's. And no good trying to use the glass. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. And so it's New Orleans already up 26 points as this quarter ends. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Willie Hernan Gomez, and it's Daniels in at the shooting guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Here's Booknight. Rebounded by Daniels. The Pelicans shooting pretty well at 45%. Outside Richardson. The Hornets pull it in. Williams has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's McGowan's. Lays it up and banks it in. Here's Alvarado. And Smitty, so often it seems like we make championships the measure of historical greatness. Is enough made of the individual achievements, you think? Well, it's a team sport. We all want to win, but game recognize game. There's players like Tracy McGrady, Chris Paul, George Gervin, et cetera, et cetera. They haven't won championships, but they are still special. Here's McGowan's. Pass to Williams. And here's Smith. Puts up a three. Murphy pulls it in. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. He's off on the first. New Orleans making some changes. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Hernan Gomez. Brandon Ingram comes in for Murphy. And it's McCollum in for Alvarado.
He hits the second from the line. For Charlotte, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Williams passes to Rogier. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. When a team is underperforming, coaches are often the first people called into question. Is that fair, Smitty? Uh, in some cases, it is fair, but I'll break it down like this, B.A. It always starts at the top. From coaching to your best players, they're always going to get the blame. That free throw good from Rogier. And when you look at Rogier, such a fantastic score, a gear shifting, talented guard who continues to improve. Nance, he's checked in for Valanchunas. Makai Luke's checked in for Charlotte. Maladon comes in for Smith. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. McCullum outside. Pass to Ingram. Here's Daniels. Clock at six. For three, McCullum. Good. And that basket makes him eight for 14 for the game. All about converting your opportunities. He just hit his second three of this half, third of the night. Back to Maladon. Here's Mikhailuk. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Some changes for New Orleans. Valanchunas comes in for Nance. And it's Jones in for Richardson. And a change for the Hornets. Williams is checked in for Mikhailuk. New Orleans has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Shot from the top of the key. Hornets with the rebound. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Pass to Maladon. Now here's Hayward. The three is up. They grab their own miss. Here's Williams. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. And stolen by Williams. Valanchunas with a rebound. The Pelicans have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. One thing I know players are happy about, the number of back-to-back -back games is way down from just a few years ago, Smitty. Yes, indeed, B.A. About a decade ago, about a quarter of a team's games were part of a back-to-back. -back. Now it's only about 15%. That's a change everyone likes, players, coaches, and broadcasters. When he decides he wants to take it to the bucket, it's really hard for anyone to slow him down. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. They get the rebound. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. Now McCullum. Outside Ingram. Over Washington. Misses off the right iron. Charlotte has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Here's Hayward. And that one's good. And that's where the added muscle Hayward has put on during his career comes into play. So effective in combating an aggressive defense. Here's Daniels. Pass to Jones. Here's Daniels. Takes a three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Maladon. It's not going to go for him. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Here's Jones. Guarded by Hayward. And it's good. Fought Shots through good. contact. Hit the shot. And will go Shots to good. the line. Hit. Shooting one. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? 
Yeah, BA, I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks, uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. On the wing, Rozier. Washington outside, three-pointer, drops in the three. Keeping his head up and staying patient. This is what you'd love to see from Rozier as a playmaker. McCullum, the pass to Jones. Now Hayes. Here's Daniels. Here's McCullum. Here's Valanciunas. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. That gives him a double-double. Physicality from Valanciunas on the glass. Securing the ball and sending it right back. Back to Maladon. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The first free throw is good. Well, when you look at the wing position, how do you feel it's evolved since you played, Smitty? Well, they've been asked to do more, B.A., especially on the defensive end. Mostly wings now are asked to guard one through five with teams switching a lot. And also, a lot of these wing guys are asked to run the offense. Temples checked in for the Pelicans. Good on both. New Orleans has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Daniels. Now Valanchunas. He's guarded by Washington. Five on the clock. Launches a three. Here's the second effort. Valanchunas can't get it to go. The Hornets shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Up top, Rozier. That one goes in. Rozier's got four points this quarter. Now that was a clever adjustment. I mean, that was a tough shot. Especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. Now here's Hayes. McCullum outside. Here's Valanciunas. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Those are the plays where you see the strength of Valanciunas. The contact didn't bother him at all. Back to Maladon. Takes the three. Valanciunas with a rebound. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Free throw line jumper. Goes back up. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Outstanding focus by Valanciunas on the shot. He is just a big, strong player who brushes off opposing defenders. And one thing you know you'll always get with Valanciunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. And the Pelicans making a change here. Marshall's checked in. Jones, he's checked in for Charlotte. Makailu comes in for Hayward. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Grant. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Here's Mikhailuk. Maladon. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Daniels. Here's Valanciunas. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Pass to Mikhailuk. 
Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back, maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back to back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Here's Maladon. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Here's Mikhailuk. Doesn't go that time. Some solid defense from Hayes. Here's Daniels. Pass to Temple. Out to the right wing. Here's Marshall. Pounded by Rozier. Offensive board. And the dunk by Valanchunas. And this is what you like to see from Valanchunas, being active on offense and racking up some points. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Mikhailuk. Rozier outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Pass to Marshall. Here's Daniels. Recently, we've seen a few super teams put together. But it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success, Smitty. Well, B.A., a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health. And that could be a big factor in upsetting your plans. And the Pelicans making a change here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Book night, he's checked in for Charlotte. Pass to Jones. Here's Mikhailuk. Back to Jones. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. New Orleans has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Here's Temple. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Defended by Jones. And here's Hayes. And he banks in the layup. Hayes has got his first points of the game. A beautiful bounce pass on the deck. He put it only where his man could get it. Here's Book Knight. And stolen by Hayes. A minute 35 left in the fourth. Pass to Marshall. Now here's Hayes. Shot clock at six. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Here's Marshall. Now here's Hayes. Here's Daniels. Another shot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And in this era, we see some stars asking out, saying we don't have enough to win. Smitty, that's not the old school approach, is it? It's not, B.A., but what I would tell you now was totally different than the past. It's the length of contract. You have players now and teams have the option after one, two, or three years. So it definitely will be a lot of movement. And he knocks down the first one. He does not get the second one. Well, the Hornets shooting about 32% during this fourth. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Pelicans. 
Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And this victory will put them at 36 wins on the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Jonas Valanciunas. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can do it with pace. You can do it with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. So it's the Hornets now following the score by New Orleans. Here's Jones, rebounded by Marshall. Pass to Daniels. And so New Orleans takes this one by a large margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. <laughs> and the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game.